half a year after completing a seemingly perfect unlisted chicken speedrun, I managed to find an improvement of a tick or 0.6 seconds. I'll first explain how I found the method and then I'll show the full speedrun. Recently, Pi tried to time my record, but for some reason he fell a tick behind. On closer inspection, it turned out that there's been a hidden update. Going through a cellar door southwards takes a tick longer now. But going through northwards is now a tick faster. Since there are an equal number of northwards as southward door passes in the speedrun, this change should in theory not gain or lose you any time. The reason Pi lost a tick was because of an incorrect bird snare smuggle. Due to the changes, the correct way to smuggle a bird snare now is using the north side of the door. I was still curious about why these doors got changed, so I tried to think of issues or bugs regarding these doors. Then I remembered the silly bug which I linked in the Quest speedrunning Discord server. Interacting with a cellar door from the side made you walk back into the room you came from. And indeed, the bug appears to be patched now. Mystery solved. However, I instantly realized this change might be used to save some time. And indeed, soon after I theorized a method that allows you to save a tick. So, how does this work? First, I place an alt on this tile and click somewhere deep in an unreachable area. This causes the alt to be put in movement mode, while it doesn't actually move due to the pathfinder having failed to find a path. As effect, the alt keeps moving onto the tile he's already standing on, causing him to set NPC blocking on his tile every single tick. Then, I do the same thing with a second alt on this tile. Now the two red blocker alts have been set up, I use a third alt to get a red safe spotted on a specific tile. Yes indeed, this 0.6 seconds time save requires the usage of three additional alts. Once everything is set up, I do the following on the main. After moving through the door, attack the red. Due to the specific location of the red, this causes the main to get dragged one tile westwards, close towards the lever. Because the red wasn't attacking anyone, the red now swaps aggression towards the main. Running through the alt removes the NPC blocking on the alt style, which would normally allow the red to walk through the alt towards the main. But because of the alt setting NPC blocking every tick, there's now a 50% chance that the rat won't be able to move through the alt depending on pit. While the main is pulling the lever, the alts keep the rat safe spotted. The rat is only able to attack the main while the main is going back through the door. This causes the auto retaliate to only occur after going through the door. Going through the door stalls you, which prevents you from doing a lot of things, such as doing a click to move. Stalls end somewhere in the middle of a tick. This is after your clicks are registered, but before auto retaliate occurs. So auto retaliate allows the main to move towards the door a tick earlier. Soon after making the method, I realized you can move towards a tile diagonally away from the door instead of next to it, and also save that one tick. This means it was probably possible to save this tick before they even did that hidden update to the doors. That's everything explained about this single tick time save and ends the commentated part of this video. Now follows the complete speedrun which includes all previously found time saves as well. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you. 